Scientists say a simple blood test could revolutionize the diagnosis of Alzheimer's. A study has found that measuring the levels of a protein could eventually enable screening for people for the condition in their 50s, meaning early detection. Our medical editor Fergus Walsh is here and has been going through the findings. Ferg well, Rita, one of the key biological features of Alzheimer's is the gradual build-up of rogue proteins in the brain, which can start to accumulate 10 or 15 years before patients develop memory loss, confusion and other symptoms. The gold standard way of detecting these is via a highly specialised PET brain scan or a lumbar puncture which extracts cerebrospinal fluid. But only 2% of Alzheimer's patients ever have one because there aren't enough resources. So a simple blood test would be transformative. The latest research in Sweden found that a blood test was around 95% accurate at detecting P-tau-217, a key biomarker for Alzheimer's, and just as good as the more invasive tests. Researchers think blood tests could eventually be used as a screening tool for the over 50s, with only those at high risk needing further investigation. Last year, Alzheimer's charities here launched a £5 million project to assess a range of blood tests and their reliability. Early diagnosis is about to become hugely important in the treatment of Alzheimer's because there are two new drugs likely to be licensed this year, lecanemab and donanemab, which can slow the progress of the disease by up to a third, but only if they're given in the early stages. Over 900,000 people in the UK are living with dementia and around two thirds of those have Alzheimer's disease, though many never get a formal diagnosis. Those numbers are set to rise sharply as our population ages. We're still perhaps five years away from Alzheimer's blood tests being available on the NHS, but they could help revolutionize diagnosis of the condition.